Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to add a glowing effect on a button, then add a pulse animation to it, and then finally apply it on hover. As usual, I already have here a simple web page that contains a button with simple CSS. First thing I'll do is add a glowing effect to this button. For this button to glow, we'll need to add a box shadow and a text shadow. First, let me add a text shadow. The horizontal and vertical shadow should be set to 0, then we can set the blur radius to 5 pixels. I'll use white color for now. Next, the box shadow. Let's set the box shadow's blur radius to 10. Then, we need to add one more box shadow to make the glow appear wider or brighter. Make sure the second box shadow has greater blur reaches. There, let me just change the color to neon red. There. I'll update this. This one and this one too. There. Oops, this one too. There. We have now a glowing button. Now, we can add a pulse animation. To be able to do that, we need to add the sudo elements after and before. Let's set the content to blank, then the position to absolute. Next, we need to add a background color, which should be the same with the borders. Then, let's add a height. Oops. Height should be 100%, then width should be 60%. Now, to send this back, we need to add a z-index property that has negative value. Let's use negative 1. Then, let's add opacity. So, as you can see, we have these two here. So, we need to add here the position relative. Then, to be able to send, put these two at the center, let's add a display grid here. Then, add a place item center. Next, we need to add the animation. So, let's add it to the before. Let's name the animation pulse. Then, for two seconds. Then is out timing function and then infinite. The same for the after. We just need to add a delay here for one second. So let's now add action to the pulse. At 100%, let's transform it. scale and tree and let's add opacity 0 then let's add because it is square or rectangle we should also add the same border ranges here there we have now a pulse animation and now that we have finally added a glowing effect and pulse animation to the button, let's now update this button to show those effects on hover only. So we'll need to add hover here, also the same for the after. Then let's add button hover. Then we'll move the box shadow and text shadow here. There. And let's also update date the color here to be white but first let me move it here change this to white as what was displayed on the beginning then let's try I also need to update the border color here to be red there and to make it more fun let's add transition for the letter spacing Let's add 0.5. Then let's add letter spacing here to 5 pixels. There. 
This is now our final output. And this ends this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new from this video.